Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now at the weekend I usually uh, don't actually do much, I usually take the time to think up some new ideas and order some components for the week ahead. But today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and that would be a video where we take a look at this old, disgustingly dirty e-machines computer, basically show you the process of cleaning it up and speeding it up as well. So this system features a Celeron D processor, uh, about a gig of RAM, a 40 gigabyte hard drive, and I picked it up as one of three desktops for about eight pounds, roughly $10. Now, as you can see, this thing is completely dirty and that's why it's outside, just like the Dell in the last video. Usually we skip out this bit in uh, the videos. If I say to you I've cleaned it up, I've usually done it off camera because it is rather a dirty process. <laughs> But for those of us that can't afford to upgrade our systems, sometimes you'll be surprised at what a little bit of cleaning and perhaps reinstalling the same operating system can do. So hopefully this video will help you guys out if you're looking to do that. Dust really is a massive factor when it comes to clogging up PC components and slowing things down. And the video card in this, the graphics card, actually didn't work until I gave it a good dusting. There was dust all over the slots. Um, this thing's running XP as you can see here. There's tons of flashing icons down at the bottom. I don't really know what any of them do, but it's filled with sort of bloatware, general crap that's been installed over the last 10 years. So without further ado, I'm going to sort of time lapse this process so that you guys can watch it. It's more of a chilled out video. I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, and I'll be talking you through our changes at the end of the video. So as you can see here, we've just cleaned all the dust out from this thing. We've sort of reseated the CPU, cleaned the heatsink up, reseated the RAM as well, and tidied the cables up just a little bit. This thing, to be honest, is at the end of its life, and this is just one little change that you can make to sort of give a bit more life to your old and dying desktop. Aside from making the cables a little bit neater and removing all the grime inside this thing, we've also installed 32-bit Windows 7 so that we totally remove that installation of XP along with all that bloatware that came along with it that's, like I said, been installed over the years. Um, Windows 7 32-bit is actually running pretty well on this Celeron D and a gig of RAM. Internet browsing is quite snappy because there's nothing installed on it at the moment. A PC like this probably wouldn't be good for much else other than internet browsing, but you'll be surprised at how many people just have a computer based solely on that purpose. I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well, and I certainly do have a couple of spares that I use for exactly that. So I hope that these changes have given this thing perhaps one or two more years of life. If you've got a system like this, I definitely recommend opening it up, seeing what sort of grime and dust lurks inside it, giving it a good clean up, perhaps performing a fresh install, because you'll be surprised at the drops in CPU temperatures, graphics card temperatures, and the overall quietness of the machine once you're done. I mean, this thing sounds so much quieter than what it did before, and... I'm planning on actually keeping this as a backup now. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Something a little bit different, I, I think I'll say here. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.